Guys, my name is Rage, and we are back today with Marvel Strike Force's newest character, being Starler T'Challa, finally landing here. We can officially get the opportunity to actually unlock him. Uh, first of all, we'll use with the Red Star Orbs, taking advantage of the 15% increase. But as well, we're going to be able to showcase and take a quick look overview of his kit. Um, as you can see, some of his main summary highlights is the fact that he has high damage. Uh, he's got hard hitting attacks, prolonging and synergizing the Ravager positive effects, as well as being coming the new leader for this Ravager allies as well. So this is going to be a new war team that's going to be uh, definitely uh, shaking things up. You can see one of the key things that he's going to have is a notable unique opportunity to actually steal ability energy especially if the primary target has blind so that's something to be mindful of there's a war offense team so uh you know today's video we're going to open some orbs to see if we can capture a three red uh, ideally a two or a three is always what i aim for and as well we're going to take a look at his kit preemptively and take a look at um if there's any p4 recommendations right now high level so that being said, you guys, you see I have been saving the Red Star here. Uh, it's been quite some time, actually, just because a lot of them were used for the Web Warriors. But now we're shaping things up in the new year. And with more characters to come, I do encourage you guys to always save them uh, by ensuring that you have the good chance of having that 15%. Make sure you hit the eye here. I always like to double check things. You can also just check on your lines and see if they pulled any Red Stars just in case. But you can see with the T'Challa here being visible with the 15%, we are good to go. So got 58 right now. I usually budget 5 to 10. So... Uh, uh, let's let's see how our luck is today you know not not terrible um you know with the duplicates always keep in mind they do get added up uh to to be performed and upgraded later on in the higher red star so not the end of the world unfortunately but you know obviously we'd like to see better luck when we start things off so that was three right there uh no t'challa yet but uh we got three right there wow for mysterio again the duplicate uh, if our luck continues like this, we may have to actually open maybe an Elite Four, but... Oh, there we go. So that is exactly kind of what I wanted right now. Three red. And to be quite honest with you, I don't know how hard I will go with him right now. Uh, I still want to strategize and see if he's going to be used in the Doom 2 raids, but uh, I'm just finishing things up here. Two threes here. Yeah, I'll open one more just to keep it a clean number here. But uh, hopefully you guys get some similar luck with me. Uh, personally, like I said, I always do like to aim for the Elite 3. Um, excuse me, the uh, the 3 or 2. And that way it's easy to upgrade with 50 silver credits. And additionally, um, I am right now in Horde mode to save these Red Star Orbs. Because there's a lot of characters coming out. And you, that's why you want to maintain a budget and keep continually uh, building your stockpile here. So there we go. Um, that's the Red Star unlocked there. And now we can actually take a look into his exciting new kit that's going to synergize with the new Ravagers being the war team here. So Element ba Blast is his uh, basic attacker. And as you can see, nothing too crazy, but he's going to apply the primary target for 90% damage. And as well, he's also going to get 50% chance to bonus attack. So the, uh, the, the mechanic here is getting that conventional second attack and actually chaining. Um, and you can see well, as you increase this up, the level 6 is always going to apply that bonus attack. So this is where I would recommend stopping. Um, I don't know how much, uh, how often you're going to use this basic, so that's why I would hold back on the T4 materials right now. Level 6 is where I would stop with this basic, just because it doesn't do anything uh, beyond the damage and as well the additional bonus attack. Gravity Repulsor is a special ability, and as you can see with this one, similar to the original Star-Lord here, he actually does apply blind, so he's attacking the primary target, and there's a 50% chance to apply blind at the very beginning. Uh, leveling this ability up here, he does actually have the unique ability to actually steal ability energy here, as you can see, if they are blinded. So um, the notable thing is just this convention that's going to be newer in the game. Um, he's also going to apply defense down as you level this up, so there's some notable things as well with level 6. He does get the increase here if Yondu's an ally it, the op defense down actually does apply to all enemies so um, this is where it's worth upgrading to I would still upgrade to level 6 um, but level 7 here um, by guaranteeing the chance that you can actually steal up to 2 ability energy so for this reason um, this is going to be a big T4 recommendation um, if I'm using him heavily in Doom 2 raids you bet I'm likely going to use this uh, because specifically this can actually counter Dr. Doom uh, when he's needing that energy to actually ult activate his ultimate um, not with Star Lord on your team with T'Challa, right? So um, he's going to be able to take that away from them and really control Dr. Doom. 
Ravager Rocket is his ultimate, and with this ability, it's really nice. It really synergizes extremely well with his adjacent allies. So essentially, it's a copycat ability. Um, any adjacent allies from him, he's actually going to be stripping away and copying um, their positive effects. So um, really, the stronger allies you have next to T'Challa, you're going to be able to replicate that and actually apply it to himself. And as well, uh, offensively, it actually has some damage as well here to the primary target. So uh, you're leveling this up, you can see the damage does increase. Level 6 is notable because it copied 3 positive effects. But the T4 here with a 100% increase and copying all positive effects from adjacent allies. This is going to be the best bang for buck that you can get. And if you plan on using T'Challa, especially in war, um, this is a no-brainer for T4 recommendation. Bringing it up to level 7 for his ultimate. Last but not least, a Rousing Ravager is his passive here, and usually with the passives for these new characters, they're usually pretty strong, especially providing a lot of synergy with the teams that they're intended for. So in this case, the Ravager team. Um, on turn, he's going to gain Evade, so every turn he's getting that, and as well, he actually naturally cleanses a negative effect from himself, and on top of that, supporting the Ravager allies with that same benefit. Um, he's going to get that increase in damage here by leveling this up, and as well, with any non-summon enemy death, he's also going to get an increase to the 30% speed bar, so um, this is very notable in the sense that if we're able to actually utilize this, the turn meter to our advantage, uh, T'Challa is going to get more turns um, ahead of the enemy. So this is beautiful to synergize with. Um, level 4 and level 5, you know, a lot of this is actually just going to benefit from being the war usage. But I would stop at level 4 just because he does get the increase to damage. But if you plan on bringing T'Challa and the new Ravagers um, and building them up into a new war team, um, uh, the T4 here is a no-brainer just because of the fact that he gets an extra increase in 25% max health. And the Ravager allies also get that benefit as well. But if you don't plan on using him for war, I would stop at level 4 because that 15% increase to damage is notable and already does provide a lot of benefits such as the natural evasion and clearing the negative effects um, overall um, my tech team right now for the doom 2 raids and being in the end game is actually lacking um, I am considering bringing T'Challa up because you know there's that fifth slot that's just not perfect yet and I feel like he would have some extremely um, great synergies with Dr. Doom and Sherry being on that same tech team and obviously Kestrel is part of that mix as well so i um, definitely looking to test that out but um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and this preview of T'Challa to come um, I, I think it, I, it was mentioned that he's actually coming in a blitz so uh, get ready for that as well. Thank you guys. I do appreciate you checking my videos. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.